How do everybody? Nice back here again and I've got another inbox review for you and today we're going to be looking at Armour Hobbies Oops, there's some bits and pieces in there Armour Hobbies P51BC Mustang This is the expert set So in the expert set you get plastic parts decal, decals for six options footwork frets and masks Okay, now this is the first time I've actually proper looked at these 72nd armor uh, kits. I've got a 48th one up there, which is their first 48th, and I was really impressed with it. So it's the first time I'm actually looking at these. So with these, you get your six markings, okay, on the back. So uh, two British, four American. Uh, British ones, I've got the grey green camo and there are three uh, silver or natural metal finish and one uh, olive drop okay so what we'll do we'll get cracking i'll put you straight onto the overhead and we can have a look so as always we will start with the instruction manual okay and as you can see we've got some blurb about the actual aircraft on the front of this a5 booklet I will take the decals out. Uh, we have a sprue tour or sprue map. So we've got the decals, clear parts, mass, uh, foot wedge, and two plastic parts. So this should be fairly quick um, review. And then we've got all the colour call outs. Uh, we've attacker, uh, the normal FS colours, AK real colours, live colour, ammo, Humbrol, Vallejo, and Tamiya. Okay. So open up the, this booklet, and you can see for a 172 model kit, there's actually quite a lot of stages in this. So there's going to be quite a lot of detail within the actual kit. So we start off with the cockpit, so the cockpit floor with the seats going on. And you can see here how we've got the black on the floor. It's tiny wet to paint. It's actually got like color coded uh, as well. Uh, that floor is made of wood and will quite often get worn down to the back plane. So plenty of plenty of uh, uh, options for weathering then we've got the fuel tank the radar uh, the radio and what have you going behind the seat we've got the dashboard then going on to there we've some uh, K's just making sure the K's I'm pretty sure are going to be your decals going on there we've then got the side panels again, some more decals actually going onto the side panels. Uh, da -da -da -da. So it's there, cut out this hole from the inside. So we'll have a look at that in a minute, see where it is. Uh, same then, cut out from the inside. Uh, again, cut out from the inside. So this bit's for the, uh, the belly radiator. Okay, then we've got all the color call out again, colored in so you can actually see what the colors are so the two different colors look there and then everything join onto it with the hoses the oxygen hoses uh, i believe that's oxygen hoses anyway okay the uh radiator and the vent at uh, the tunnel for the radiator going in okay then move on to the other side and we have all the instruments going on there then the cockpit actually joins onto the fuselage. We then look at the wheel wells. Okay, so on here, you can see we've got uh, the bulkhead going on. Then up here, we have actually got the ribbon uh, for the wheel wells, the roof of the wheel wells. Join the wheel wings together before moving on to some hydraulic pipes and what have you uh, for uh, the undercarriage wheels going together fuselage mating onto the actual uh, wings the wheels going on and then we've got some vents going in we've got the chin scoop going on there we've got the radiator scoop going on the propeller going in and the actual uh, different types of exhaust Then we've got our canopy going on, uh, be that open or closed. 
uh, and then add in all the little bits of uh, little, well, little parts by the looks of it or decals that are going on there. Okay, it tells you to remove bits and pieces. Um, and same again, telling you to remove bits and pieces. Then we've got the paper tanks or the metal drop tanks or bombs going onto the underwing pylons. And then we've got all the stencil data going on there. Before we then move on to the different uh, markings. So we've got Ding Ho, okay, uh, flown by Major James H. Howard from the 356 Fighter Squadron, uh, 354 Fighter Group from, uh, it doesn't say, so well, it says 1944. Then we've got a, uh, Captain Jesse Marcel. So this is, as you can see, just there. He's Polish uh, from the 309. I'm not even going to try and pronounce any of that. Uh, squadron, I would assume. Okay, 1945. Oh, it's unreal. Look, using reading the wrong one. So yeah, April 1945. So Captain for the Polish Air Force shot down uh, Air Me 262 jet fighter on 9th of April 1945. We've then got a the Aziel boomerang, okay, with this nice checkerboard uh, markings from the 162nd Tactical Reconnaissance Squadron, uh, Photo of Reconnaissance Group, uh, Second Lieutenant Stanley Hayfesh Newman during D-Day preparations. Uh, next one is from uh, uh, Royal Australian Air Force in Italy, 1945 flown by several pilots it says there next one snooky by lieutenant edwards t Pollock, the 382 uh, fighter squadron uh, fighter group uh, 363 fighter group france 90 july 1944 so that would have been not long, long after d-day especially because it's missing the the stripes on the top and all the way around and then we've got one from china January 1944, flown by Oliver E. Strawbridge, 26th Fighter Squadron, the 51st Fighter Group. And the final one is a bonus one. Uh, El Pilot Major Yurisuko Kuru, China, Japan, 1945. Okay, so yeah, some nice, so that's seven markings in there. Really, really cool. Moving on to the plastic. So we've got two grey plastic parts. So these, as you can see, are actually locked together. Okay. Are they meant to be locked together? No, I think they are. I think they're meant to be locked together somehow. But we'll look at that in a minute. So we'll start with the smaller part. And then we've got our paper tanks there, our normal tanks, uh, the chin radiator. And then we've got some absolutely fantastic detail and this is in 177th, remember. So we've, I don't know if you're going to be able to pick it up, but we've got lovely rivet detail along these control surfaces just here. Okay. We've got one part wheels. We've weight on wheel. Okay. The different uh, grills and what have you to on the front of the nose, the undercarriage legs. Okay, so all really, really nice. Moving on to the next part. So, mace brew here, start on the outside. Wings, correct. No rivet detail on the wings because it was aluminum flooring, so it was all putted in. <coughs> we have the rivet detail in that part just there. Okay, these two parts here, they would have rivets like on the proper aircraft. The fuselage has got no major riveting but the the panel lines are so so crisp really really beautifully done we've got two different types of tail so you can see this one here okay with the fillet and this one here so this one here okay uh would have been used for the uh, bull canopy i believe okay and then we've got this one here full one piece tail okay and again some nice 
uh, panel line detail on there. Just looking around if there's anything else that uh, takes my eye. I, uh, we've got the another bit of the um, wheel bay just here, same as this one, just here. Uh, I can't, there's the instrument panel again, 172nd, so that's all you really need. And then we turn it over and we've got the raised rivet detail in the wheel wells. So that's going to look really, really nice. And also the bits and pieces molded onto the actual cockpit walls as well, as well as the uh, main wheel bay, main wheel covers just there. And again, some nice detail on there. We've then got photo etch. Okay, a little photo etch sheet and a, a mass set for the canopies and the wheels on there from vinyl. Okay. It's good you get that. The I mean this is 172nd and you get the foot wedge seat belts in there. And we've got the clear parts. Okay, so the clear parts just here. And I wish more companies did this where it's we it gets the front part of the canopy actually sits in part of the fuselage, so you're not having to line it up there. And then you've got your open uh, and closed canopies. Okay. And obviously the bubble that they nicked from uh, the bubble part that they nicked from uh, the Spitfire. Okay. And then last but not least, we've got decals. Okay. So let's just open these up. So there we've got some decals on there okay uh printed by tech mod so shouldn't really have any major issues okay they look really really nice proper in register and really really glossy so all good there so that's armor mob armor hobbies 172nd mustang p51 and what a beautiful kit that is it really is a fantastic kit now seeing what they've done with the hurricane and seeing this one up close i can't wait for them to do any more 148 versions of the hurricanes or maybe some of these other kits may come out in 148 and the proper go to town on them is hoping anyway so yeah a really really nice kit uh at a, for what you get in a box you can actually get a beautiful kit in there with some photo etch and some masks so really can't complain anyway that's for now and i'll see you in the next one bye